His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that, the, that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking gal. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is not unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and them that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Yeah. Wrap me in your arms you are my shelter from the storm when all my friends were gone glory you were right there all along i've never known a love like this before oh I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. 
I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Glory to God. Just want to tell you, Lord, we love you more than anything thank you lord jesus we just we just lift up a praise lord god we we declare that we love you more than our troubles sometimes it's easier to just give in to fear sometimes it it's easier to just marinate and and be fixated on the the troubles that we are in but lord god we just lift our eyes to you the bible says that those that look to you are never ashamed and you lighten us lord god you lighten us you allow us to see the truth and so god we thank you lord god that the truth will set us free we thank you lord god that our troubles do not dictate our destiny lord god but you are you so you are the author and the finisher of our faith and so god we thank you for that lord jesus lord god we thank you that your word says that you are close to those that are broken in spirit lord god those that have a a contrite heart lord god we thank you that you are near to us lord god we just we just rely on you today lord god we just lay on your bosom just like john did lord god and we thank you we acknowledge your love we thank you that you love us lord god and i pray that we will receive it with open arms today lord god i pray that we will not run away from you lord jesus but that we will run to you lord god because you are the answer lord jesus you're the same yesterday to today and forevermore lord god and you you promise to never leave us nor forsake us and so god i thank you that we can come to you lord god you are our, our present help in the time of storms lord god and maybe someone's saying this storm will never end but lord god we thank you that's not true lord god your word says that you sit high and you see all things lord god and you have respect unto the lowly lord god and the proud you know it far off and so god we just pray that we will humble ourselves today lord god so that we'll be able to exalt you lord god above those troubles lord god everything that may be troubling us today lord god anything that may be vexing our mind our spirit lord god maybe we're worried about a loved one that it's not saved, Lord God. Maybe we're worried about the state of the world, Lord God. Maybe somebody's even just worried about the gas prices and the negative things that they're seeing on the on the news. But we thank you, Lord God, that you 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 came to give us the good news that we can have life and life abundantly. And so, God, we just speak life into these situations. We speak life into the gas prices, Lord God. We speak life into this world, Lord God. We speak life to those that are not yet saved. And Lord God, we speak life into ourselves. We thank you that Jesus Christ is the way the truth in the life and so god we just acknowledge your presence today we welcome you lord into this day maybe we didn't start off this day with gratitude maybe we didn't start off this day acknowledging you lord and just thanking you for another day but we thank you lord god and we thank you on the behalf of that maybe the days when we forgot to thank you maybe those that that woke up today and did not have a mind to thank you lord god but we just thank you for another chance at life lord god we thank you for another chance to get it right with you lord god Thank you, Lord. Your word says, Lord God, that when we draw nigh to you, then you would draw nigh to us. So God, the person that's frustrated, Lord God, let them know, Lord Jesus, that turning away from you is not the answer. Like Peter said in John 6, if we turn away from you, where will we go? Because you have the words of life eternal. And so God, maybe that person is contemplating suicide or just giving up or turning away from the faith today. We thank you, Lord God, that you've already prayed with uh, prayed for us that our faith fail not. And your word says that when the son of man comes, comes back is he going to find faith and lord god we want to be found in faith today lord god we break fear right now in the name of jesus we come out of agreement with fear lord god and anything lord god that is not of you lord god we just lift up a praise lord god let it be a sweet incense, Lord God, to you, Lord God. Let it be a sweet sound to your ear like the song says, Lord God. Lord, whatever situations we may experience today, Lord God, let us exalt you. Our God is a, is a consuming fire, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, for consuming our fear today, Lord Jesus, and consuming us with your love. We thank you for consuming us with your power, Lord God, with your strength, Lord God, with a sound mind, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, we just thank you. We honor you. We reverence you, Lord God. For those that have petitions, Lord Jesus, I pray that they will make their requests known to you, Lord God. 
Thank you, Lord God. You said that before we ask you, you know what we have need of. But we thank you, Lord God, that we can come to you even though you know what we need in order to build that relationship, in order to just ensure that we can hear your voice and hear it clearly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And so we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. As I was just in prayer the other day, the Lord was highlighting to me that there are a lot of people who have, I don't want to say been in a season, but maybe for a moment felt like they weren't really hearing from God and it just seemed like it was hard, but really you were hearing from him the entire time. He was just taking, taking you through ear training so that you wouldn't be going based off your feelings, but you would know that it was Jesus, that you would know that he was leading and guiding you. And so I just want to encourage you with that today, go forth in peace and know that According to Isaiah, I'm sorry, Psalm 34 and 17, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Amen.